Hello and welcome guys, this is Wade and um, in this one I'll be explaining you what happens in the Y code but before I do that I'm gonna give you a heads up and tell you that I've just you know I've changed a little bit of the Lex code it's not a lot but and, and I'm gonna be explaining what I've changed so don't sweat it uh, okay so in the Y code to start off with it's just got like the C declaration stuff declare your functions declare the you know uh, the, the the header files which you're going to be using and stuff so it's pretty standard uh, the fancy stuff starts from here now this is token and there's a person at the like the beginning so this is like a Y uh, thing you, you need to use this as like uh, this de declares the fact that you're going to be using all these tokens following it so in this case string num other semicolon and uh, pick uh, that's just something I made so these are the kind of tokens which are gonna be used in this code and this the, these are the very tokens accepted by this Y code so uh, that is what is basically what this means and in the previous video I've explained what tokens are so you guys have like a good idea about this and um, the other one now uh, person type. So person type basically means that the string has uh, a certain type. Like uh, the 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 token can have a certain type, and you can like declare the fact that this this particular token has this kind of type, uh, this kind of data type. So now, why do we need like a type for a token? So in order to explain that, I'm just going to like write a small example now delete let's say abc.txt now delete itself is something which describes a function right it's, it says that we need to delete this particular file but this file name that's the second token by the way uh, it's it's something which is like it's 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 unique it's not random or or it's not like um, same for every input it's gonna be different right so this token it's important because it's unique so uh, let's just say these are two tokens right the first is delete let's call it del and um, the file name so I'm gonna call it F name these are two tokens but in this case delete just declares like just describes the kind of function we have to do with the file name given ahead but the file name that is an important token because it's going to be different every single time let's say there's going to be like there's abc.2 there's abc.html it could be anything so now in, if that is the case then you gotta make sure that this f name uh, has a type like it has a data type in which we can store this particular value down here right so that's pretty much what we've done here so string has a type name and now this is confusing you're gonna like what is name why is that doing here I've, so that's basically something I've made name down here so this is another uh, thing given in um, bison you can make a union and you can declare can types of variables or types of data which you could like use um, in this code and this union apparently is like a bridge between the lex code and the uh, and the y code and I'll be explaining why but before uh, this pretty much means that the string has this character name it's, it's basically an array of characters of size 20 and uh, num which is like uh, which is a num uh, it's, it's a number it's an integer value so it goes down oh, I'm sorry I, just, I changed it and I forgot it that's number so number number uh, we have declared we are declaring the fact that this thing is an integer so that's pretty much for this and um, now why is the union a bridge between the Lex code and the Y code so I'm gonna be explaining that thing now if you take a look at this uh, the changes I've done is I've included alpha 
Now this is a regular expression which just basically accepts any kind of input which is an alphabet, like a small alphabet, a capital alphabet, it does not matter and it takes it, the plus here means it could be one or more so if that is the case then if you get any alphabets like let's say hello, the word hello, so what's going to happen is it's going to go down here right and now we need to set, we need to invoke the Y code and let the Y code know that there's a string value here so we're going to return this token down there, string, and along with that, we even need to send the value, the, 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 the actual string which we got, right? So in order to do that, we're going to be sending it using this function down here. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure if you guys know, but scanf is like a function. You can read about it. You can just, you know, do a Google about it, but uh, I'll explain it anyway. So scanf scans a particular string like it takes um, a value of a particular string and then it enters that kind of, that that value into the other string so in this case yy text uh, that is the input one that is where the text is coming from and that is taken and inserted into yylval.name now I'm, I'm gonna explain what these two variables are first of all the yy text one now the yy text happens to be the the variable name which you get when uh, you enter anything into the lex compiler so if you enter like any kind of value it's going to be entered and it's going to be entered in yy text that is how lex works so any kind of input number symbol anything it's just going to go down as a string in yy text and yyl well now remember the union well that is the yyl well that is how the system calls it we cannot change it it's it comes with the package you just we just gotta go with it so and we're putting it in name so there's a dot because that's a structure rate no it's it's a union rate so it goes into the name type and the same pretty much the same thing happens down here because what what's happening is we, we're taking the yy text in case of numbers so let's say I enter 173 right so if that is the case then uh, that is going to be inputted as like a string uh, these go, these are going to be like separate characters 1, 7 and 3 and uh, this function down here a2i it basically uh, converts the um, the text to an integer so 173 is going to be 173 and it's going to go down to the yyl well union dot num data okay you know what guys I forgot to change it as well so it's number again yes yeah, so number number so this thing is going to go down to that union so you can like use this thing to like bridge the two things together and send a value down to the Y code so that's pretty much what this is and um, uh, this is pretty much for this video I'll be making another one to explain what happens down here because um, this is what we call the grammar of the code and uh, I'll be explaining it in the, the, the following video so if you guys have like any questions or something you can just drop them by in the comment section no issues I'll, I'll answer them one by one and um, you can like subscribe and thanks for watching